Hey everybody, welcome to the Happy Harvest Homestead. You are looking at a batch of chicks that did not have their beaks dipped in water as newborns. When I was first researching about baby chicks and how to properly care for them, it was often suggested to me by various people that you take the newborn chicks and dip their beaks in water, and sometimes even in the food, supposedly to let them know where the food and water is, give them a taste for food and water, and supposedly, if you don't do that, they risk not knowing where the food and water is, and not drinking or eating properly, and dying. When we first ordered chicks in the mail, we did this with them, and also as we started hatching our own chicks, we would do the same thing with them because that was just the thing to do. But the more years I've been raising chicks, and the more I'm thinking about it, doing that doesn't really make sense to me. I can just imagine being a baby chick, coming from a hatchery and then being put in the mail, and eating that green mushy stuff that they sometimes send in the mail boxes with them, and then being grabbed, and like having vertigo as I'm being hoisted and put down in a new area. And I wasn't entirely sure how effective it would be to have my beak dipped in water and then set far away under a heat lamp versus not having that. It's not like they recognize food or water since they've never seen it before or anything like that. So over the years, I've become more lax about dipping newborn chicks' beaks in water and food. And this current batch, I decided 100% I would not dip their beaks in water or food at all. And as you can see, they're about one or two weeks old, they are thriving, they're healthy, and I did not dip their beaks as newborns. Now, these chicks were hatched here, they didn't get shipped in the mail, so I'm not sure if that has a part to play with it. Perhaps chicks sent in the mail need a bit of different care than chicks not shipped in the mail. But honestly, if we ever buy chicks in the mail again, I'm going to try the same thing with them, because it doesn't seem that different to me. I'm not entirely sure where that tradition came from, dipping newborn chicks' beaks in their food and water. I'm not sure if there were problems with chicks dying and then they did that and they stopped. Or somebody thought, hey, this is a good idea, maybe this will help, and they made it up in their mind as a preventative measure, or if it was actually a solution to a problem someone had and they passed it on. And I guess it could help some people with some of their chicks, but in my experience, it doesn't really do anything. Dipping beaks is just extra work and stress on you and the chicks for minimal, if any, benefit. So those are my thoughts and experiences with beak dipping. I will continue to not dip chicks' beaks in water, and I will also continue to expect the same result I got this time with happy, healthy chicks who know exactly where the food and water is as they explore their brooder for the first time. Thanks for watching!